Hi, it's Randy Orr with Berkshire Hathaway giving you a two-minute housing report on Laguna Niguel. I want to cover some very brief information, some statistics, but just narrow the view so that you can easily understand where we are in real estate today. You know, looking in the rearview mirror, it's all good. We can see where we've come from. Looking too much into the future is just speculative, but I can share with you some information that we as agents use every single day in our market. So normal inventory for all of Orange County typically is around 6,000 active homes on the market at any given time. Today there is 1,623. 1,623 homes on the market in the entire county where normal levels are typically above 6,000. That is a frightening statistic. There aren't any homes. Well, relatively speaking, there are very few homes on the market compared to what the current market needs. Now, the current market needs are fueled by interest rates and buyer demand, which interest rates are very, very low and demand is very, very high. So with a combination of low inventory in Orange County, low interest rates fueling buyers to buy, and the audience of buyers wanting to buy homes, we have a very unbalanced market. Now, I work Laguna Niguel and all contiguous cities for the most part. Um, Laguna Niguel currently has 36 homes on the market in the entire city, 36 homes. And that's why we're seeing homes appreciate at a rate somewhere between one and a half and 2% a month currently. So on an annualized basis, somewhere around 20 to 25% more or less is what we're gonna see at the current rate of appreciation. Homes are typically in overbid. 70% of the homes today are selling for at or over asking price. And again, this is just because of the shortage of inventory. We have very low inventory levels. A formula that I work with and a lot of very smart agents work with is the absorption rate. And without going into too much detail about what the absorption rate is, it's briefly, at the current rate of sale, how long would it take to go from where we are inventory wise of 36 homes today to zero? That's called absorption rate. Between four and six months is considered a balanced market. Equal opportunity for buyers and sellers, a normal market four to six months. We're currently at 12 days. It would take 12 days at the current rate of sale to go from 36 homes to zero. That is a housing crisis. We simply don't have enough homes to fuel the market properly. Between now and the end of the year, we've got about six weeks that we're gonna see a plummeting inventory level, and it's going to be frightening what we're gonna start the year with, January 2, 2022. I can just share with you that it is gonna be a very heavily weighted seller's market, similar to what it is today, but with starting off with lower inventory levels than January 2, 2021, okay? 2021, the first quarter was a very difficult quarter and we're anticipating this to be a very difficult quarter from the perspective of a buyer or agents representing buyers. If you're a seller and you may wanna think about getting on, uh, on, on, the, uh, on the road a little bit earlier than normal in terms of talking to your agent, in terms of a strategy to get your home on the market and listed and selling for a record price, that first quarter is gonna be very, very robust. Now, every year, year after year, the pattern is April and May seem to be the top two months for homes going into escrow. Knowing that, knowing what I've shared with you, if you're a seller trying to strategically time the market, the first quarter, January and February and March, is gonna be an awesome time to buy a home. Yes, it will be challenging for a buyer. There are things that agents can do to position their buyers a little bit better than others. But my job is to let you know what's going on in the market so you can understand and interpret and work with your agent to hopefully successfully sell a home or buy a home. Randy Orr with Berkshire Hathaway. If I can help you, don't be afraid to reach out.